Virginia monster hunters are hoping for a sign of a giant creature. We've all heard the name, and recently several people have reported sightings in our area. Tonight, Fox 5's Beth, uh, Beth Parker takes you on the hunt for Bigfoot. Deep inside these woods, some say, roams a creature rarely seen by humans. His hands were probably about twice the size of mine. A mystery that's captivated imaginations and real-life hauntings worldwide. It was about eight foot tall. And even in Virginia. You know, there's a lot of strange uh, things that go on out here as far as activity. Uh, there's been things seen out here. Out here in the woods near Culpeper, hunters are searching for an elusive giant named Sasquatch as Bigfoot. Mythical to some, a passion to others. We'll take you into those woods in a minute. I have to see one. That's one of the reasons I continue to do this. With real-life Bigfoot hunter Billy Willard. We're looking into it from a serious scientific standpoint. Billy and his fellow hunters have spent countless hours in the woods all hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Sasquatch Watch Radio. Today is not Billy even hosts his own weekly online call-in radio show to Place in Canada, there has been possibly three more Sasquatch sightings up in that same area. I never realized, I guess, that there was actually groups out there that were researched. In the woods has been invaluable to others across the country. You know, our main purpose is to collect information, and I think it's important to network with other groups that's doing similar things and learn as much as we can about the different characteristics and about the different patterns that people are seeing. We wanted to see those patterns for ourselves and hiked into the woods. What would you say it is, about a half mile walk? Yeah, half mile. Billy's team set up sensitive microphones throughout the forest, and once everything was in place, it was lights out. Basically what he's doing right now is just scanning the uh, scanning the woods with a thermal detector to uh, see if there's anything out there that's something live. Using our own night vision gear, we watched as these hunters listened and scanned for anything out of the ordinary. Well, we hear crickets. So now we, we sit and listen. Uh, a lot of times after you've calmed down for a little while, you'll start hearing movement in the woods, and that can be anything from you know, deer to the other wildlife. And then occasionally you'll hear something else. That something else started not long after we arrived in the woods. That's a, that's detecting a heat source. Got something right back there. He's definitely picking up something over there. From that direction, so. Billy's team scanned the area for nearly an hour, fixated on one part of the forest that had an unexplained heat source on an otherwise cool autumn night. Be a deer. I don't know. In the end, no one could figure out what was in the woods that night, but these hunters say they'll continue to spend hours waiting, if only to get a glimpse of the mythical creature they believed might be in our own backyard. Beth Parker, Fox 5 News. We have posted links to Billy's radio show and to his website on MyFoxDC.com. Just click on the Scene on TV link.